Hello to my Flamazing Franklin Academy artist and welcome to Art with Miss P this week. This week's lesson is going to be a fun lesson as we create a snowman in the style of Picasso. Now you've already learned a little bit about Pablo Picasso earlier in class and I have shown you some examples of his artwork with his very unique abstract style called Cubism. So now we're going to design a snowman in the cubist style as if Pablo Picasso designed the snowman. It's going to be fun because it's going to be really hard to make a mistake because everything is so unusual. So you don't have to draw a perfect circle or make things perfect on your snowman. Now I've got three examples right here. Here's one that's already colored and it's in the style of Pablo Picasso. So we can look at this face and we can see that these are eyes that Pablo Picasso would do and his ears and his mouth and nose. And then down here, I added some details and then I colored it because Pablo Picasso would not leave his snowman white. He would make it very bright, very bold colors. Now here's another example that's not colored yet, but you can clearly see it's in the style of Pablo Picasso with my two eyes and an eyebrow right there and my nose, my mouth, and then some buttons and some really unusual wonky ears and hands. And then here is another one where I chose to put a bow in this one's hair and have an earring coming off of this ear and some really unusual buttons and a collar. So you can um, make your snowman with as many details as you want or not. You can have a hat on your snowman or not. The choice is yours. But I'm going to show you how to draw a snowman in the style of Picasso and then you're going to create your own. Now I have given you that sheet that I will keep up on the TV but there's also some at your tables where I have given you different ideas for eyes and nose and ears and body shapes that would be in the style of Picasso. So you can use any of those or you can come up with your own. First thing you're going to do is get your pencil and your eraser. Um, that's what you need right now. We'll get to your Sharpie and your crayons and markers in just a minute. You're going to turn your paper vertical, and then you are going to draw a head. Now, remember, it's going to be a big head, but it's not going to be round because it's going to be in the style of, of Picasso. So there's the head of my snowman. It is not a perfect circle, but it is round. But then I have this space that comes in right here. Then I'm going to come under here, and I'm going to draw another organic shape right here doesn't have to be round because remember Picasso doesn't do things normal and then we're going to come out here and I'm going to draw another big circle I'm going to let it run off the page and come on down here and run off the page and there's the the bottom of my snowman and then let's uh, think about some eyes so if you look at the sheet that's on um, the the TV or on the board you will see that I have lots of different eyes so I'm going to draw an eye right up here and I'm going to have an eye like this right here, and I'm going to give it some eyelashes, maybe a thicker line right down here. And I think I'll put a little eyebrow on top of my eye. Then I'm going to have a nose right here, and I'm going to make my nose go this direction. So I'm going to have a, a nose like this, and, and then... I may put another line in here for this nose. And then over here on this side, now remember Picasso kind of puts, his eyes are never side by side. They're just kind of spaced around. So I'm going to put an eye right here and I'm going to have a very wide open eye like this. So this eye looks this way, this eye's looking this way. And then right down here, we're going to do a mouth. I'm going to turn my paper to make it a little bit easier for me to draw my mouth. And I'm going to have a mouth like this and have this bottom lip come down like this right there. All right, so there is the face of my Picasso snowman. There's my two eyes, my nose, and my lips. And I'm going to put some ears. So I think I'll have an ear that comes out like this right here and maybe does something kind of little, little fun like that right there. And then we'll have another ear that comes out like this, like almost looks like the number three. So there's that ear. Now, if you want to put a hat on your snowman, you can put a hat, you can put a bow, 
You don't have to put anything on the top of your snowman. It's totally up to you. So right here is the neck of my snowman. So I think I'm going to put a collar on this snowman. And we'll have an arm that comes off like this. Kind of a little arm sticking out. We'll have another arm that sticks out like this right here. Maybe it comes down like that. I don't, I'm going to change this right here. I don't really like that. So I'm going to make that come out like that. All right. And then maybe down here we can have, um, I'm going to put a little jacket on my snowman. So there's the jacket. Here's some buttons going down my jacket. I'm going to make them all different shapes. I'm going to put a pocket over here. So there's a pocket on my snowman. All right. So I am finished drawing with my snowman. You see how quick and easy it is. It's not anything to really think about too hard. So you don't have to, sh to worry about trying to make things so perfect. Just have fun with some funny eyes and funny nose and funny lips and things. I'm going to come back in and add a little bit more detail right here because that's something Picasso would do. And then I'm going to draw a line right there and I'm going to have this space divided up too. All right, so now it's time to get your Sharpie and you're gonna outline all of your pencil lines with your Sharpie. So I'm gonna get that done real quick and I will be back to you in just a moment. Okay, friends, I have finished outlining my snowman in Sharpie. I have used my eraser to erase any pencil lines that my Sharpie did not cover. So now it is time to color. So you're going to use a combination of markers and crayons so you can get these nice darks and lights. So I want you to think about your colors because Picasso loved big bold colors like you see right here. So if I wanted to color this ear purple, I would probably take my purple crayon and I would, I'm sorry, my purple marker and outline the edge of this shape right here with my purple marker. And then I would take my purple crayon and color it. So that way it's purple, but it's got lights and darks. So you can see with my crayon, I can get a nice light shade of purple on there, but with the outline of the marker gives it a nice um, darkness. I did this right here, so I've got some darks and lights. I outlined that in purple, colored it purple, um, came down here, colored all this with crayons, outlined this with blue, green, colored it with a blue color. So you want to, I did marker here, marker here, but crayon here. So you want to do some marker, some crayon. I outlined this with brown marker and then colored it with a brown crayon. So you want um, some marker. I did the lips and marker right here. I did this part of the eye and marker, but you don't want to use a lot of marker because with crayons, you can get darks and lights. With markers, you can't. So I am not going to spend the time coloring this because you guys know how to color and know how to pick your colors, but you're going to want to color your snowman. Don't leave it white. Actually color your snowman colors. And I divided this face up into a lime green and a yellow, but you can use whatever colors you want to use, but just have fun with it. So this is um, how you will color your Picasso snowman. So I look forward to seeing how creative you guys are. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and sparkles from Miss P.